Um, we have supported Ukraine. We've sent Bushmasters and, and that kind of thing. But I find it embarrassing that the Australian embassy in Kiev is still vacant. We have not sent our diplomats back there. It's just too unsafe, et cetera, et cetera. It was co-located with the Canadian one. That's not too unsafe, isn't it? We should be there. Well, if President Biden decided that he can come to Kiev, I'm sure diplomats can come as well. Absolutely. I find that, um, like I say, embarrassing. But how will it? How will this war end after what, one year? Uh, I don't know. It looks like going for at least another year, probably longer. How do you think it will end? Well, Andrew, a year ago, nobody thought that we would stand for a couple of weeks. Then nobody thought that we will get the candidacy to European Union, that nobody thought that we will get heavy weapons and that we are capable of counteroffense, that we are capable of regaining our territories, almost half of what Russia has initially captured. Then nobody believed that we will receive the Patriot missiles and the tank coalition, which uh, I encourage Australia to join and get us some tanks, was also something that nobody believed. Right now, we know that if you fight hard and if you push enough, impossible things are possible. And the world believes in us and we are going to fight. We are just asking to give us the means to fight back. Uh, again, it's not a matter of a political will for us. It's a matter of all people having the same decision. We do not want to be destroyed. We do not want to be part of Russia. We don't want to be stripped of human rights and have our homes destroyed and families tortured. We are fighting in a very plain war. There is an aggressor, there is an evil, and there is a victim, and it is us. And this is why um, I do not see that uh, it is impossible for us to win the war. It's David versus Goliath, and we do hope that it, it, it ends same as in the story, when David, with the support of the allies, wins. Kira Rudik, I just want to give you a tip before I go about Australian tanks. We've got something like but somewhere between 60 and 80. I've forgotten the exact number. 60 and 80, they have never, ever been used in war, never. We don't use, where would we use them? I mean, why we haven't sent over some tanks to you, I do not understand, and I tell you, we could spare them, so push hard on that one. Kira Rudik, thank you so much indeed for your time. Thank you, and glory to Ukraine.